Camera number 89 of 365, and it's the Balder Baldinet 35mm uh, manual camera. And so, looking at the camera, uh, the lens and uh, shutter are housed inside the camera, and to get uh, those out, we just simply press this uh, release, and then uh, if we lift the little stand, we can have the camera stand up on its own. It does have a, a tripod mount just uh, hidden under this uh, bespokely made screw. Let's just put that back on because it helps to uh, keep the camera um, reasonably level like that. So looking at the camera, it's fitted with a Prontor S uh, shutter with a self-timer mechanism. And the lens that's fitted is the Baldinar 50mm uh, 3.5. The camera or the lens is uh, focused using the focus ring. We do have an aid, a uh, range finder, this window here, and if we rotate the dial we get uh, a ghost image, and we line the image, and then that gives us our approximate uh, distance which we can then input into the camera. We have a guide as to what will be in focus around the, uh, the edge of the shutter dial there. The shutter speeds go from uh, 1 300th of a second through to 1. And then we have uh, a flash synchronization port there. And then our apertures are set with this little slider here. Okay. The shutter release is uh, this button here. And there's a little red window telling us that uh, uh, it hasn't been wound on and can't be fired. The film rewind and our film counter is uh, there. To show uh, the camera in action uh, we need to uh, put a film through because there is a, a safety device, a locking mechanism and so we'll show you that uh, in operation but also just before we do that we'll just show you the uh, very helpful exposure guide. I do find it quite humorous the, uh, when you look through uh, the uh, list that is uh, there we actually have the months of the year so from May to August, if it's a, a dull day and uh, we're in the woods, uh, we can sh uh, choose uh, a light interior and then that gives us our um, a guide to our meter and what shutter and aperture. So I find that uh, quite funny to uh, look through that. Uh, if it's March to April, then we can choose another uh, series of... Uh, shutter and uh, film, uh, sorry, shutter and aperture combinations. So that's uh, rather humorous there to think that someone actually spent the time going through that and thinking, right, okay, this is what it will be an average for this particular time of the year in this particular situation. Okay, so let's get back to uh, putting a film through the camera, which we do by lifting uh, this uh, very helpful arrowed uh, lever, which then allows us to put our film in. So let's just do that. So to put our film in we have to uh, just advance so we can get this little cut out here and then uh, thread that through. There we go. And then we need to wind the film on. There we go. Put it across. Lift up. and then so what we do is we wind the film on and then we have to press this little mechanism that becomes uh, deactivates and allows us now to cock our shutter and hopefully take our picture sorry big pardon we have to wind it on again then we can cock our shutter then we can take the photograph again we can't wind the film on we have to press the button wind it on Activate the shutter, take the photograph, press the button, wind the film on, advance the shutter, take a photograph. So a uh, slightly long-winded uh, procedure, but it, it does save uh, having the problem of uh, double exposures. But then if you want double exposures, I'm sure there's a way you can deactivate that. And then to uh, deactivate, or to put the camera Sorry, the film back into the canister. 
we have to uh, lift the film advance, which then becomes deactivated, and then wind our film back into the canister. And that's it. So that's pretty much it uh, as far as the uh, Boulder, Boulder net goes. And that's been camera number 89.